Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, November 3rd, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment in the NFL, and I'll get to that. First, a quick note, if you've yet to take a trial run over at DocSports.com, if you've yet to become a member, it is a cool way to give it a trial run. You get a free $60 account. You can use those on any daily package of any of the cappers over at DocSports.com. Free $60 account, give it a trial run. All you gotta do to get started, click on the link below the video. We got uh, three plays going on Sunday's NFL card. We swept last week in the NFL. Uh, perfect 4-0 sweep between Thursday through Monday, and we're going to rack it up and look to do it again. I've got a six-star play in the NFL. Those have been outstanding so far this football season. Three plays in all, all going on Sunday, all in the NFL, all available right now over at DocSports.com. Wrapping up what we did on Saturday. It's been up and down, man. We told you last week, 10-1. and one. This week, I lost in college football on Saturday, and uh, the luck factor was not on our side, including just an example, Memphis up 54 to 32, about eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, a lane six for most of those of you who jumped on board with me over at DocSports.com. Anyway, lane six up 54, 32. What do they do the final eight minutes? They give up two touchdowns, but not only did SMU get their two touchdowns, they also got a two point conversion at the end of each of those two touchdowns, and we get a push when it looked like we had a good shot at a win. TCU, well, they were within seven in the closing minutes of the game, despite the fact they turned the ball over four times. Just an ugly day. Uh, one of those days again in college football and uh, again it's been up and down over the last several weeks for me after just a tremendous run over the past few years in college football. But you know we go from 10-1 and last week to a losing day in college football yesterday. Uh, NHL thought we had a 2-0. and End up 1-1. and Our team, our last team, we did win the four unit play which was the bigger play of the two but our final side looking to get that 2-0 and sweep uh, was a team that had a two goal lead and blew it in the final or blew it over about a two or three minute period in the third period and end up losing the game in a blown missed uh, icing that turns into a goal to tie the game just ridiculous and uh, but the four star the bigger play of the two actually won with the Dallas Stars that was an easy winner didn't have a lot of easy winners guys and that's the thing here on the free pick report we cashed again so at least those of you watching these videos were able to get that money with our free pick in college football We'll look to continue uh, the winning run with this free pick report, which has been pretty strong uh, in football last week. Perfect in football so far going into Sunday. Uh, we are perfect, obviously, with the win on Saturday. we got a free NFL pick coming up in just a moment. But again, over at DocSports.com, my NBA will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Sunday. My NFL is already up and available to go. Three plays, including the six-star side in Sunday's NFL. Probably going to pass the NHL. There's only a couple of games. I looked once. I'm going to look one more time before I call it tonight. Uh, but it looks like a pass in the NHL. And NASCAR, by the way, uh, is in action, obviously, on Sunday. They're in Texas at Texas Motor Speedway. And uh, we're down to just a handful of races left. And here's the thing. Our picks are up. I, I shouldn't say picks. I've got one pick, one matchup for Sunday's race. It's available right now over at DocSports.com. You can go grab it right now. And again, uh, one matchup for Sunday. We come into Sunday on a 19 and six NASCAR run up almost $6,000 for $100 per unit better. So you can go grab that right now. Anytime up until race time, which is 3, 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, 12, 10 p.m. Pacific on Sunday. Again, the race in a Texas Motor Speedway. We'll look to go to 20 and six with our last 26 NASCAR plays. All right, let's get to it with our betting report. Uh, a little quick look at these as we do each and every Sunday morning with these videos. As far as the most tickets on any one side of the NFL, the Packers who are laying four up to four on the road at the Chargers Packers getting over 80% of the tickets at the books that report to me uh, money wise the biggest money play so far percentage wise is the Cleveland Browns they're up to four they're at Denver the Browns have taken over 80% of the money in the action in that game pros versus Joe's starts bright and early 9 30 a.m. Eastern 6 30 a.m. Pacific in London uh, Houston is a one-point favorite over the Jags right now the Joe's are the public on the Houston Texas the Sharks Harper money on the Jacksonville Jaguars and also uh, the Buccaneers Tampa Bay getting a lot of sharp money on Sunday they are at four and a half right now four and a half point under 
Dog. Uh, some fives out there, they are at Seattle. Seattle's the public side of that one. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the sharp side all week long, and it remains to be that way. So biggest bet percentage-wise, ticket-wise, the Green Bay Packers. Biggest bet percentage-wise as far as the overall money bet, the Cleveland Browns plus, uh, minus the points. Pros versus Joes. The Jags are the sharp side over Houston. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the sharp side over Seattle. All right, let's get to our free pick for Sunday. Battle between the Colts and the Steelers. And listen, uh, you look at what Pittsburgh's got going. James Conner, a little banged up, may not play in this one. Still listed as questionable. No T.Y. Hilton for the Colts. He's out due to injury. And we saw what Pittsburgh would like to do in last week's game. They want to run the football. They gained 158 yards on the ground on 29 carries. Really no true identity for the Steelers without Big Ben. And really saying that is the first time in a long time because whether it was Chuck Knoll, if you go back to old school, whether it was Bill Cower or even Mike Tomlin, this team has always kind of known what its identity is when they take the field. Not quite so much on offense this season. And as far as Indy is concerned, you know, they're going to want to run the football a little bit in this game and uh, develop the run first. And then, of course, have Jacoby Brissett game manage. He's shown that he can do a little bit more than game manage when needed. He's had a terrific season. But again, they'd rather have him be a game manager in a game like this to try to grab and steal a win on the road. Now, the number, as far as the point spread is concerned is flopped. Uh, Indy was a one-point favorite. Of course, T.Y. Hilton being announced out. Now, Pittsburgh a one-point favorite. The totals come down a little bit, but that's what we like here. We like the under between the Colts and the Steelers. Pitt on a 13-6 and under run on their home field, and four of the Colts' last five on the road have stayed under the total. Even though it's come down a little bit, this total, we still like it under. So our free pick is we look for another free pick football sweep weekend under between the Colts and the Steelers in Sunday's NFL. Again, you can go grab my NFL right now. We're going to look to sweep for the second straight weekend in pro football. NBA available 1 p.m. Eastern at DocSports.com. NASCAR available right now. Sunday's race starts at 3.10 Eastern, 12.10 p.m. Pacific time. Go grab it all over at DocSports.com. Let's bounce right back and get back in the win column on Sunday. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column back here Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the very latest. Best of luck on Sunday.